Good evening and thank you for being here this evening. My name is Troy Smith and I'm the Commerce City Police Chief. I'm here this evening uh, to uh, introduce Dave Young, uh, our District Attorney in the 17th Judicial District. As I mentioned yesterday, the Judicial District's critical incident team has been conducting a parallel investigation into the shooting incident involving Kevin Lord. And Mr. Young has an announcement to make this evening. Dave. Thank you, Troy. Good evening. Um, tonight at approximately 8.15, uh, Officer Kevin Lord was, Lord was arrested for the charges of attempt to influence a public official and false reporting. Uh, he is presumed innocent and he's entitled to a fair trial. He's also uh, entitled to not have this investigation go public. Uh, we are not at this time going to be giving you details of that investigation. Uh, as a matter of fact, the case has been sealed and we're not entitled to give you details of that investigation. What I will tell you is last night the investigation went a different direction and members of the critical incident team, including all the departments and police agencies in the 17th Judicial District, investigated this matter which led to the arrest of Officer Lord uh, earlier this evening. So I hope you understand why we're not able to answer a lot of your questions at this time, uh, but I can tell you uh, this is not a reflection of the Commerce City Police Department, nor is it a reflection of police officers who serve and protect the public on a daily basis. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Stan Hilke. I'm the Executive Director of the Colorado Department of Public Safety. As I stood here a couple days ago, uh, I just want to assure you that all the proper resources were brought to bear and the proper coalition and, and uh, collaboration was built in this investigation to make sure that this investigation had all the resources necessary to do a thorough investigation. I think that's what you're seeing as the product of it. Uh, you know, I can't speak about the details about it either uh, since it is sealed, but I do think that it's worth noting that the in I couldn't be more proud of the integrity of the investigation uh, in that you know, the investigators went where the facts are, even if it goes in a direction that you're not expecting. And uh, in that regard, the, uh, the leadership of the Commerce City Police Department, Chief Troy Smith, and the, t and the coalition that he has built uh, demonstrate the integrity of uh, the investigation and uh, the professionalism that's been displayed. I want to share with you that uh, the Commerce City Police Department and its officers place the highest value on protecting the public and upholding the public's trust that we serve. We expect nothing but unquestionable integrity from our officers. Yesterday I stood here and told you that no stone would be left unturned in this investigation. And that's exactly what has occurred. We have pursued the truth and the truth has led us to this place. From the beginning, a team of investigators from the Commerce City Police Department, as well as all across Adams County, the state and federal agencies have been assisting us in this investigation. The media has been incredibly helpful in getting the message out and the community at large has responded with tips to our request for information. I share with you there is no armed gunman on the loose tonight and there are no police officers in danger. I'm very thankful for the help that we have had in this investigation and am disappointed in the conclusion that it has come to. but I'm grateful for the partners that we have. That is all the information we have at this time. If there are any brief questions, we will attempt to answer those. Was there a shooting at all? Was it intentional or accidental? Okay. We're not gonna comment at that, on that at that time. Uh, that is information that is sealed uh, pursuant to a court order. A bond will be set, and I don't know that he's been booked into the Adams County Jail at this time yet or not. We talk about asking the public for so much help, and then standing here and saying we can't tell you why we can't tell you anything. Well, because he's entitled to a fair trial, as is anyone who is charged with a crime. Uh, he's presumed innocent, and this information, the investigation is still ongoing. The investigation will be ongoing, 
until a jury decides or a plea bargain is reached or something else closure happens with the case. Uh, at some point, uh, that information may become public, but it, right now, we can't disclose that uh, because he's entitled to a fair trial. Uh, and also, there are other witnesses that may need to be interviewed that we don't want that to go out to those other witnesses because we want to know what those witnesses saw or heard rather than what they saw in the media. Is what this battle to the TV be still active? Uh, Officer Lord was placed on administrative leave on Sunday following the reporting of the shooting incident, and that status remains the same. Are those in media situations closed with, or is it simply been a misdemeanor felony? Uh, that's a class four felony. It carries a period of two to six years, presumptively, in, in Department of Corrections. False reporting is a class three misdemeanor, which carries anywhere from zero to six months in the county jail. And is a bondable offense reported to the judge? Yes, it will be a bondable offense. Were there ever traffic stops or non-efficient jamming, anything to this? Is anything that we report initially true? We can't comment on that, I apologize. I'm sorry, can you go over the charges one more time? There's two charges? There's two charges. Uh, attempt to influence a public official is a class four felony carries a presumptive range in the Department of Corrections of two to six years. The second charge is false reporting, which is a class three misdemeanor, carries a potential sentence from anywhere from zero to six months in the county jail. What would come of trying to influence a public official? What, what would he have to do to be charged with this? The crime kind of speaks for itself. Uh, the elements of the crime are in the statute. Uh, I don't want to get into specific details on how the facts of this case, case relate to that crime, uh, but it, it kind of is self-explanatory uh, in the in the definition. Are more ser serious charges possible? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Well, I mean, you know the facts of the case. If you charge him with two crimes, uh, is there a possibility that those are the more serious crimes there is? Uh, we charge him with what we felt we can prove in a court of law. Is he being cooperative in the investigation? I don't want to comment on that. Thanks. Uh, he has been booked, he's been arrested about 8.15 earlier this evening, and then during the booking process, he'll be transported to the Adams County Detention Facility, uh, where he'll have an opportunity to post bond once he gets there. Is he going to march down to the Pink Building yet? I don't know that. I don't know. If he, I don't even know if he's made it to the jail at this time. Is he arrested without a chance to ask for a jail term? Uh, yes. And has he surrendered his BB weapon as part of his... Not as part of being as arrested. But he has surrendered. Yes. Yep. Where was he arrested? He was arrested at the Adams County substation, Adams County Sheriff's Office substation in Commerce City. And you've done this a long time, so I'm sure it's got reactions on how you would have responded. Uh, it's not a very pleasant reaction, uh, but I can echo what Chief Smith has said. Uh, the integrity of the investigation is, is intact. Uh, all the officers that were involved in this investigation I don't think it was a pleasant investigation for them, but it's a truth-finding process, and I think we got to that process. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for coming this evening and for your time.